Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sima Gold. If this is your first time, please kindly subscribe and like my video and click on the notification bell so you get notified when next I post a new video. So today we are going to be doing on the off-shoulder corset. How to draft properly your off-shoulder corset. Now I have a basic body here for the front and for the back. This is the front and this is the back. Now the next thing I'm going to be doing is this. For my, uh, what I'm offering, I'm offering about 6.5 inches for the corset. So this is 6.5 inches for the corset. Having gotten what I'm offering, I'm going to be doing that for the front, and I'm also going to be doing that for the back. You can do six inches, you can do seven, just depends on what you want. So I've off the back and I've off the front. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to get my apex to apex, which is the nipple to nipple, which is um seven inches. Then I'll do divide by two is TV point five. So I'll do TV point five, which is TV and a half. I'll do it straight down to where I off my uh, shoulder. Then I'm going to be connecting it this way. Having done that, the next thing I'm going to be doing is to mark from this center front. I'll go in by half, half of an inch. So this is half. This is half. And this is half. Then I'm going to be connecting. The next thing I will be doing is to locate my shoulder to nipple. My shoulder to nipple is 10. I'll come down by average is 10 and a half. My shoulder to underboss is 13. Then I'm going to draw a straight line to define it. This is my shoulder to nipple. And this is my shoulder to underboss. Having gotten my shoulder to nipple and my shoulder to underboss, the next thing I'm going to be doing is to mark, I've marked this half inch, is to come down by seven and a half from the neck part, from the starting part, I'm going to come down by seven and a half or eight inches. It all depends on how deep you want your, um, the middle of your um, corset to be. Having done that, the next thing I'll do is to take in to take one inch from this upper part, then you can take, you have having taken my half inch and one and a half here, which is half, we have one and a half here, you connect. Now we want to know our bust arc. Our bust arc is 2.5 for this particular person. So what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be taking note of that 2.5 here. Then I'm going to be taking note of that 2.5 here. Having done that, the next thing I'll be doing is to take my underboss tightening. I'll take one here and I'll take one here. I'll come to the waist because I want it to be straight, it's straight that I'll take one here. So I'll go straight and then I'll go straight. The next thing I'll do is to connect here. You can use your curve if you can't curve with your hands. Having done that, the next thing we have to do is to connect, is to connect this into this line. Then at this point, it's either you use your shoulder or you come outwards towards this part by one inch then the next thing you do is to connect it when you do that we are looking at this part now what we need to do is to blend here in like this so you have something like this You have something 
like this. Now, if you notice, you will notice that at this upper part now, totally it's two inches that we up. Now, you don't need to replace it when you are drafting on your pattern paper. You don't need to replace it when you are drafting when you are drafting on your um, fabric. These two inches that is taken up will help your upper part to be firm. So you don't need to say, oh, I removed two inches from here, so I'm going to go and replace it back. No. Then this, okay, with this, we can say that the front part of our corset is ready. Then we'll go to the back. Now we have the back here. The next thing we are going to be doing is for us to determine, if you are using a lace at the back, you determine how many inches you want the lace to be. But before that, let's talk about our dart. I'm using 3.5 for the dart. Then I'm going to start the dart leg one inch immediately after the armhole measurement. Then I'll connect it. So this is what I'm doing. I've connected the dart leg. The next thing I'm going to be doing now is to determine how many inches I want the lace to be or the modesty panel to be. I can do two inches, um, one and a half inches up or two inches up, then I can do one inches down. You can do one and a half inches up, you can do half inches down. So let's just retain two inches and one. But know that the more you go inwards, like if you do three inches here and you do two inches, the more wider your modesty panel will be. So having done that, this is how I'm going to connect it. So this is where my lace would fall in. You understand? So having done that, the next thing we are going to be doing is to cut. But one thing that you have to note is when your waist, the down part of this waist is equal like this, Especially when you are attaching it to a skirt to form a gown or a peplum, especially for a gown, you must start having some bulges here. So it's advisable that you come up here by half or even one. But let's come up by one here. Then you blend back into the dark leg. So it means that this place is going to be cut out. So having said that, we we'll come to the front. So having done the back. I will come to the front and do my um, bust tightening, which is the difference between my shoulder to waist and my, for front and shoulder to waist for back. My shoulder to waist for front is um, 17, while my shoulder to waist for back is 15 and a half. So the uh, difference is 1.5. So I'll come to this nipple line. I'll measure 1.5 by the side and I'm going to connect it. So having done that, we can say that our off-shoulder corset is ready. So the next thing we are going to be looking at is this. For the front, we minus to 1.5, uh, 2 inches, sorry, for the, at the upper part. Now what we are going to do here is to minus 1.5 here. 1.5 from this part. From here, we minus 1.5 and then we blend back. We blend back. Having done that, the next thing we are going to do is to cut it out. So now this is what I have to cut out. Take note that this is your center front, this is the down, this is the up aside. Now you're going to take this, now having cut this other part. The next thing we are going to do is to get our maxi tape. 
when you get your masking tape, you are going to fold up this place that you did your different, the one and the half different. Then you are going to fold it up like this. Then you are going to mask. If you use this method, you're going to get your off shoulder corset accurately. Having done that, if you will notice that the lines does, do not blend equally again. Look at this one. Now look at this one. So the next thing you will do is to blend the line back equally. So you start from this side and you blend it back. So having done that, this is what you would have. So the next thing I will do is to cut. So this is what I have for my off shoulder corset for the front part. So with this, we can say that the off shoulder corset is ready for the front. So we go to the back. So I'm going to be cutting the back now. I mean, cut the front. So this is what I have. I'm going to be cutting this first. Then I'm going to be following this this new armhole, not the former one. This is the new armhole I've cut instead of the former one. Then having done that, I'll cut straight out. Now the next thing I'm going to be doing is to get out my modest steel panel. So when I want to replace this modesty panel, I would multiply whatever I have here by three, four, or three or four, so that I will have enough of it to enter the other part of the back. So you don't have it gushing out. So what I have at this upper part is so what I have for this upper part is two, and what I have for this lower part is one. It means that I'm going to be having six inches. As my modesty panel for this upper part, and I'm going to be having three inches as my modesty panel for this lower part. Having done that, your modesty panel is ready. So this is the back. There are several ways you can do your back. After eliminating this extra half inch that we are going to eliminate from this part, you can choose to cover it up like this. So you have eliminated the dart. You have eliminated the dart, which means that you can sew this. You can just sew this, sew your um, boning at the back without a dart line showing. You just choose some places. If you want it here, you can put. If you want it here, you can put. But there will be no dart line that is showing. Meanwhile, it will have no effect because you've already done all the things you need to do on the pattern paper having done that we can say that the back of our corset of off shoulder corset is ready and the front of our off shoulder corset is ready now this is the front and this is the back and then this is the modesty panel